All right, here we are. I want to finish up on the Bosnian economy, explain just a little something. It will be able to help the poor throughout the world with this kind of system. Nobody owns it, but simply all the uh, profit goes to either feed the people or putting some money aside. This way taxes are paid so government can't tell you anything. People are paid and they pay their taxes and people are helped. All right, so workers paid, taxes paid, and that's it. Uh, regarding the economy, any economy in the world works the same way. And uh, it works by people working, people paying their taxes, people paying their bills. And that's about it. There is nothing more complex about economy. So all of this will be achieved by a uh, Bosnian economy. And it will not uh, touch uh, in a destructive way the economy of the country. It's just that politicians will not be able to play us with hunger and so forth. Now regarding the stores that you would open or whatever kind of business uh, regarding the Boston economy, uh, it would uh, simply be uh, one of the kind of businesses that does not compete with the businesses that are already in place within that neighborhood, but rather complement what's already there. So this way there is no anger, or whatever. So, I'm moving on regarding this Bosnian vote thing. I was uh, thinking it could be called Pax Teres, peace of the world, uh, peace made by the world. Uh, in Latin, uh, unfortunately I got to know it for Pacem in Terra mean peace on earth, but Pax Teres will be peace made by earth itself, by people of the, uh, of the world. And it would uh, simply uh, tell to the future that today we, as people, as, as species, as humanity, have actually been uh, that well connected and that we have at least basic intelligence to say we want peace. If we allow any single country or alliance, or uh, if there is any big war and then world peace after that, we we'll felt to the future that we were so stupid, so basic, so animal-like, unruly, that it had to take that much war. This is the kind of message that historians might, you know, of the future might get from not being a part of, of uh, from people not being a part of political process in the right way. Voting is not a power, it is not a power when they know who you're going to vote for, vote for, uh, where you're going to be, what you're going to do. That's not power, that's more obligation and that's like sheep going to, you know, to, to graze uh, the grass or whatever. If we vote, uh, if we vote anytime we really need to vote, anytime we need to express something that is so crucially important that, that we have to get out and say, you know what, enough. With vote like this, Bosnian vote, you can take down presidents after, after one week. You can take, uh, you cannot like, just vote, have a president, and then shiver for four years like Americans do. What are they going to do? Uh, and we cannot take them down. We have to wait for four years, and in four years they can do whatever they want. President Bush is uh, exactly such an example. So, this vote, we can, we can simply leave the uh, great uh, asset to the future. To let them know we knew better. To let them know we... We could, we did, uh, what we should, and uh, we didn't ask anybody's permission. This kind of voting, Bosnian vote, Bosnian voting, uh, would simply uh, flex the muscle of unity for humanity. I just think that would be a great thing to do. Now, uh, let me go into this letter to you, UN uh, to show it to you. It's uh, like 160-page letter and uh, there's a cover page and let me just read you from there in it I uh, encourage uh, Nicholas Mitchell to put me on lie detector test or whatever to find out to search for me for Interpol for my government US government whatever if I've ever done any crime if I'm any kind of spy or criminal or whatever and uh, uh, to check me through Interpol and whatever.
you know, whatever he needs. Uh, pum, 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 pum. Here, uh, I insist to be placed into position of, let me hear. I insist to be placed into position of questioning under lie detector and truth drugs as to answer um, the following questions. Have I stolen or copied any of these ideas from anyone or any institution, industrial or governmental? Have I said a single lie in this entire book? Uh, am I a spy, industrial or governmental? Is all this work of my own creation? Do any of my friends, family, anywhere in the world know of this work? Then I will do everything I can to help Mr. Mitchell accomplish these tasks, finding out everything. And I also ask him to uh, uh, send the copies of this letter to uh, to Kofi Annan and uh, Mrs. Sheikala Khalifa Rashid, something like that. I'm not trying to make fun of her name, I'm just uh, trying to remember what is it. Um, and all these big, you know, big shots in UN. So here is the like uh, I, I put the here the uh, copyright for November 2006 on behalf of UN by Mehan Gardana, which I, I, uh, I've also signed it. So I gave it to them basically whatever is in here. Hopefully, you know, I'll apply for a job at UN. I told them, you know what, I want a job. You can see here I'm, I'm, I'm as smart as they come and uh, I just want to work and if possible I'd like to publish a book at some point uh, regarding this work and just have a protection from you and so I could make some extra money besides the job and so forth. Um, I do admit this book has been clumsily written, pathetically even at, at the points, but it does have so much material in it that will be useful uh, to world uh, to world peace and so forth. Uh, let me see here. Let's see. I, I'm, I see here. The reason I'm so successful with the technology in here be, is because I refuse to be in awe with the latest, as well as pulling away from all credibility of most prominent space-faring nations. The whole world believes rocketry is the only way of travel through space, even though we all feel. That's not true. Well, many of us also know that uh, know it from as well from bits and pieces of what we already have within our grasps about universe, the way it is. In a way, in here and without censure, so for a smaller country such as mine, Bosnia and Herzegovina, you will be given ways to swim through space like fishes in the sea. Uh, I was being poetic here. And with great grace of it, as well as the speed, nobody will have to wait to become a part of today's most divine profession, astronaut, or at least get a shot at it with an equal chance. Before all that, let me show you my spirit through contract, clumsily fashioned. And here I ask him, uh, let me see, that none of technology developed through my idea is ever allowed to be used for development of that weaponry of any kind, unless that weaponry is allowed through UN voting to uh, defend Earth from asteroids or, or any other danger from outer space. Only commercial usage. Uh, that all countries of the world are allowed to develop their versions of my technology as long as their findings are shared with the UN and abiding by no weapon made condition above, that no profit is made except for money invested into research and development necessary to have developed their findings. Uh, let me see. Da, 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 da. I also asked him to uh, send a copy to Office to Outer Space Affairs, UN office at Vienna, Vienna International Center, PO Box 500A, 1400 Vienna, Austria, and then WIPO, World's Intellectual Property Organization, 34 Chemin den Colombet, uh, Geneva, Switzerland. WIPO is to help Interpol investigations of originality of my ideas as well as to help you faster copyright any and all ideas exposed in here. Uh, let me see. So th they could uh, check me out and see if I'm a criminal. They could uh, see if I stole ideas. They could do anything. But uh, in nearly two years, I never got a response. Go figure. 